I will cast Disintegrate on the yellow. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Kessia. Pass well on the next. And Odo and Abigail? Well, I just realized Odo's standing in the silence, so he has no idea what's going on. He can't see anyone, so he thinks it's all good. Yaxon, Yaxon made the warning. Unless tele silence stops telepathy, Yaxon told you guys that there's sentinels to the north and south. Well, just to the north, he said. Yeah, and Odo would have seen that Kasha was attacked, like a sword struck her. And she was grappling a guy she pulled into the hallway the last round. Safe to say, yes, I'd probably be screaming that Flintfire got hit multiple times. All right, that's it. What did you do? I just moved down next to, uh, like. Yeah, I'm just wondering why you didn't move right into the hallway and attack or do something. Yeah, because it would block Lake, and Lake can do a lot more damage than I can. Fair enough. Or if Lake backs up, and then they come in. Okay. Yeah, I think we should do that. I can't see Flynn. How badly injured is he? Uh, he has 16 of his 107 hit points. Oh, well, not that it would help him much, but I'll give him a cure minor. Uh, how much? And I can't tell if Abigail would help. I can't see through that north hallway for her. Uh, that hallway is only five feet wide, so she can't fit down it. Okay. Okay, so then we are at initiative. Why are we rolling it now? Yeah, we're fully in combat now. I didn't know what you guys were going to do. What's... Uh... How many more walls do you guys have to break through? Three, but you're not going to survive. Even if I cast a healing spell on you, you wouldn't survive. I can kill this one next round. Okay. I'm going to kill this one and run back to Abigail as quickly as I can. I guess you're waiting for me, Naomi. Okay, Kasha, you're up first. Okay. Um, Akasha's going to five foot step back and hit this one in front with two dissolving spittles. These will be against touch AC. Oi. That one and that one. She does have the prayer up. I didn't put the prayer macro into this. Oh, you know what? I didn't put half my bonuses into this. Sorry. You guys have prayer? Didn't we say we did that? I don't think so. Prayer only lasts around a level. No, we haven't said that. Oh, excuse me. Okay, well, that wouldn't have changed much. Okay, okay so, so he has four for dex, one for dodge, and... Uh, two for protection. So what's that? Uh, seven? So 17? Okay. So then the 23 would hit. So this would be 22 acid damage. I 
I assume he has no resistances or tonight? To acid? No. Okay. So she'll move up there. She does those two attacks, and that's it, I think. She's just going to wait for the others to come. Okay, murder time. Uh, I'm going to murder this one. Three attacks, or six attacks. First three with the Kender, last three with the Rapier. Hits. Okay, well, he'll attempt to parry that. Okay. Which he does. Next one. That's a miss. Third one. That's a miss. Uh, I mean, this isn't looking good. Third. Is a rapier to him. Ooh, that's There's a, a good 40, one. It's a 43. No, that's just a my, Should have saved my parry for that one. Oh, you don't have any more parries? No, he doesn't. Uh, he's not like a parry master or anything. It's just Okay, like, cool. High-level so fighters have lots of extra feats. Confirm the crit with a confirmed crit. Didn't confirm that, so just double. And then two more hits. He's required to have improved disarm for the Sentinel class, which requires combat reflexes, which means he only needs one feat to get guarded parry. So it was stupid not to take it. Okay. Um, I am just rolling the damage so I can see what I... Sorry for the... Um, is he immune to electricity? He does not have any energy-based immunities, I don't believe. Yeah, I'm uh, rolling for sneak attack, so... Two hundred points to him. Two hundred, or it was like two hundred and one. Is that and counting DR? That is after DR, yeah. And then I'm gonna start with five footing back. I knew I should have cast Hunter's Eye there. That's three D, three D six to my sneak attack. Uh, that's it for me. You have Hunter's Eye? What's that from? Uh, it was a player's handbook spell. Thing. It's definitely not a player's handbook spell. It's, yeah, it's player's handbook too. Yeah, that's not a player's handbook spell. Oh. There's a reason why they call it player's handbook too. Because it's oh. not the player's handbook. That would have been part of my research then. I'm not worried about it. I just never heard of the spell. Yeah, Swift spell gives me uh, 1d6 sneak attack per three levels. <laughs> Nice. Does that give it to you even if you don't have a uh, sneak attack? Yep. Oh, okay. So it's like sneak attack for rangers. Yep. It just add, yep. adds on to my sneak attack already, too. And it's a Swiss spell, so... Does it stack with uh, sneak attack? It does. That might be something uh, you want to research. It's only round, so... Okay, that's it for me. I five foot back. Okay, then we're on to Odo. Only the first two attacks on this one. I thought we were going to wait for them to come to us. I have spring attack. Oh, I see. They're not evil, are they? No, they're lawful neutral. All right, that's it. Sorry, I'm curious. You can full attack on a spring attack? Flirt? No, just my right and left fist. I see. That's why I said only the first two count. It's just, I don't want to write another macro. Okay. The word you're looking for is lazy. Yes. 
you could literally take that macro, cut and paste it into a new window, and just delete the last three lines of it, four lines of it. Or I could do none of that and just say the first two count. Nope, you can't do that. New game rule. Okay, Kessia, you're up. I will delay until after Paul. Okay, uh, then it is the Sentinels go. And I'm conflicted on whether I just want to kill uh, Yaxon or... Uh, yeah. Or kill uh, Flynnfire or kill Yaxon. I think I want to kill Flynnfire, so he will five foot up. Uh, it was nice knowing you guys. Twenty three. He's still alive after that. This could be really bad for you. I this one might. Yeah, this one might outright kill you. Another twenty. Hope you have good dr or good uh, con say or for uh, constitution score. Uh, yeah, I'm one point away from dead. That's unfortunate for you. Okay, and oh no, he can make two attacks as a standard action. So he will step over your corpse and uh, unchain the door. And then this sentinel will retreat down the hall. I really hope Abigail has a uh, stabilized in memory. Not about my luck but you reroll son of a bitch with nine hit points left i could have rerolled one of those confirmed crits or one of those other hits okay the other two sentinels will hold their ground um at the front door and the sentinel to the east will enter the hall. And then we are on to Yaxon. We already did Kessie, right? Delaying till after Paul. Oh yeah, okay. I knew you we had act you had acted, but I didn't remember what it was. Okay, then we're on to Yaxon. Uh Yaxon's gonna probably grab his dead uh, dead partner and try to get over it. Okay. Like I said, the ceiling here is like twenty feet twenty five feet high. I think the Lady of Pain is twenty one feet. Same about the same as Abigail now. I mean, if he would say that's an attack opportunity, he'll take it. He, he'll definitely be more focused on getting Flynn out of there. Well, how far can he fly? 60 feet with good maneuverability. 40 with a medium. I guess I'm a medium load, so... Well, he has to expend a good chunk of that going up. Yeah, so he can... He definitely good. cannot make it all the way down the hallway. No, so he'll just grab me and fly up as high as he can. Okay. Then we're on to Paw. Magic Missile and a Cure Miner. And so he'll also say that the north door was open and we're freaking out. So you get six hit points back, Flynn. Thank you. Stable and not dying. Okay. Um, Abigail's still not in a particularly good position, but she will move up and block the hallway. 
Kessie was also going to take her turn to do the next um thing for the wall, the daylight. Okay. How many do you have left? Just the dispel, so one. Okay. Um, we might need some guards at the front, up the north, guys. Yeah, we may need some guards there, but we definitely need some to the south. Um, can you do the dispel the next time? If you do the dispel, I can do the disintegrate, and we'll be through that round. Yeah, I can do that. I was going to suggest that. I didn't know if you had it handy or not. Okay, then we are back to initiative. What's the green dot represent? Just a reminder to uh, apply the ongoing acid damage. Oh, okay. Um, when you're doing initiative is with a wand, is it just one for the activating the wand, or is it the spell level in the wand? It's the spell level of the wand. Um, this is open now, right? How many feet are inside? It's only five feet inside. Oh. Um, after the prismatic wall, there is a wall of iron, a wall of stone, a wall of iron, and a foot of masonry. I thought there was another um, wall of force in there. I hope not. Because we were prepared for what you told us. No, I'm not changing it or anything. I just thought there were two walls of force in there. But I think the the prismatic wall is supposed to represent the second wall of force. The harder wall of force to get through? Yeah, the prismatic wall, you can attempt to go through it. You take all of the damage and then don't get through because there's a wall of iron behind it. But I sandwiched the uh, wall of stone in uh, two walls of iron, and I thought I sandwiched, and I sandwiched the wall of force in two walls of iron. But uh, yeah, I guess that's just the math of it. I had it all written out, so I knew how it went. I just obviously forgot how I organized it. Okay, um, I think Odo's up first. I didn't close the door, Odo, but the door there is closed. Hey, I actually hit him. He will attempt to parry. Which he succeeds on. I was actually up in the air about what I was going to spend the last feed on because I was thinking about taking whatever improved parry for the extra plus four. And I thought it made more sense to take protective parry. But in this situation, they're not going to get to do any of that. Stupid hallway is too narrow. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay. And Akasha is already gone. Sorry, no, that was just the uh, ongoing acid damage. You do 20 points of damage a round? No, it's just for the round immediately following a hit. Um, for each hit. Oh, okay. So now that she's applied that, that guy won't take any more, but she could attack others. I'm trying to decide if she should do her calm emotions effect now or 
if that's counterproductive, but it would hit all the Sentinels, Akasha and Odo, but not Abigail. Or at least two of the Sentinels here. We'll say it was not amazing. So I don't know. I still think we could take these if we kind of double team them here. So I think what Akasha and Oda should do is retreat to provide more support for Abigail and the rest. So she will try to communicate that to Odo somehow. I guess she'll make like a hand gesture, like we should move back. And she'll fire off again at the one that's standing by the door there with uh, Dissolving Spittle. It looks like that'll hit for 15. And then she's going to move back. I guess she might as well move all the way back. So she's got a 60 foot fly speed, right? So yeah, I guess she'll just move back to here. Um, or if she can make it all the way to there, she'll look there. I guess, yeah. See Flynn's on the ground and end her turn. Okay, then we're on to Pa. Pa is holding until after Naomi. Okay, then we're on to Akasha. Or, sorry, uh, Yaxon. Uh, Yaxon will continue flying Flynn down the corner. Okay. And pop them off right down here. Okay, the uh, next one is Kessia. We will do a greater dispel on the last part of the prismatic. Okay, does it require a greater dispel? No, it's regular, but that's what I have is greater. Oh, okay. I think you need a specific spell. Well, I do have a Dispel Wand that she can use. I mean, it says Dispel Magic is what gets rid of it. Greater Dispel says as Dispel Magic, but you can use a higher level. Does that not count? Should work, you know. I thought it did. I assumed it did. If it wouldn't have, I would have prepared a dispel item to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, the specifics of it is um the exact spell like you can't cast a different version of magic missile or a different daylight spell um but yeah you can just say you pre prepared something else for it perfect i'll have done that then you guys would have known that you had to use the exact spell i was just looking to see if the last thing was a dispel magic check as opposed to um just casting the spell to melt dispel magic Okay, so you cast Dispel Magic, and then it is pause go. I disintegrate the rest of the walls. Okay. And I guess Cure Minor uh, Flynn again. As futile as it is. No quicken cure moderate or anything. He doesn't have, have quicken. quicken. 
he Seven keeps down. taking all of those uh, uh, spellfire feats instead of meta magic. Which normally you think makes sense, but you haven't ever really run out of spellfire, have you? Yes. Like when? It was a long time ago, but we don't actually uh, adventure. We tend to have a fight and wait three days and then have another fight and then wait another three days. No, that's fair. But when I can cast higher level spells, I'm going to need as much spell power in reserve as I can because a couple of ninth level spells are going to empty the tank. No, that's totally fair. I just figured you would get on to the uh, uh, fast and swift spells as soon as you could. Okay, so Pa went, Cassia went, so we're on to the Sentinels. Uh, this Sentinel will retreat. And then he will drink his potion. And the other two sentinels will enter the room. Uh, that sentinel, sentinel will move up and attack Odo. Only one hit. I'm going to assume they're using least magical weapons. Yeah, they both have, they all have plus five weapons. Oh! Uh, I might as well give Flynn another heal because I have two Swiss. So eight more back, Flynn. Yeah, you could have been doing that every round. Can we get into the sanctuary now? You can technically get into the sanctuary uh, sure when your action comes up. Sanctuary. But yeah. Oh yeah, I rolled really shitty. Okay, and the last sentinel enters the hall. And then we're on to Flynn. Um, I asked Poff if so I should enter the sanctuary now. Should I, or should we wait and go together? If anybody should run phase first at something, it should be you, but you probably want to get healed first. Yeah, I will, uh, I'm gonna summon, do you summon nature's ally to, I forgot what I was gonna do. That's what I was going to do. I was going to summon a wolverine down this hallway. Why wouldn't you summon it into and send it into the room to see if there's any magical traps that are going to go up and blow something up? Actually, that's a smart idea. Um, in that case, I will summon summon Angel's Ally 2 and summon 1d3 wolf. Summoning one wolf into there. anything happen when the wolf enters the sanctuary? Nope. Okay. Then two cure miners on myself for my two swifts. Or two faith miners. Okay. You don't get faith miners. Right, I don't. You should have your spells written down so you would know that. Thought I did. Uh, 
Okay, then we're on to Abigail. What's she doing? She's going to attack the Sentinel. Okay. So you can attempt to parry one of the great swords. Not a problem. That's it for her. Okay, Akash is up. Okay, we're not re-rolling initiative this round, I guess. Oh, sorry, I rolled initiative. That was just Abigail at the end of initiative. I thought it was Odo at the top of initiative. Okay, so Odo isn't at the top. It's Jackson. Um, he is gonna go above Akasha and breathe his enlarged breath down the hall. Okay. I can't see what's down. For some reason, I can't see through him. Does he have his own sheet? Uh, don't know if he gave him his own sheet. Where? No. Well, he, yeah, he does. I'm just going to move Flynn so I can see. He just didn't have his vision turned on for some reason. Like, it's set as him having night vision. Yeah, I still can't see through it. There we go. Yeah, well, I have to hit save. I don't know why his vision was turned off. That's kind of weird. So his enlarged breath hits all of them. They can make will saves. Wow, they all rolled the same. Is that enough? Uh, I'm just double checking. It's uh... half his hit dice plus his con mod. Uh, it would only be 17, 16. They definitely make it. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Akasha. All right. Well, Akasha's going to try a similar thing. So she's going to move up, do her stunning trill. So then they all have to make will saves. And then she will. All four of them? All three of these. Okay. If there's, if there's another one around the corner through the door. No, there's one at the end of the hall. Yeah, she can't hit that. Uh, by the can way, you the see him? The... She can see him right now. I just wanted to make sure you had your vision turned on, that's all. Yeah, I'm not sure what um, her vision should be right now, sorry. But um, it's probably like blind sight 30 and then normal vision after that. Yeah, it's uh, I've got the lighting on in here. Unless Kesia has her coin out, there's everything's lit. Okay. So yeah, so then they would make their saves, those three. Um, the one at the bottom, by the way, is going to take the... Uh, Acid damage again, so I'll just roll the that one more time. So he would take twenty three damage. If you can mark that. Oof. 
Okay, they're both 10 more. My fucking roll 20 is doing the thing where it doesn't count the first digit I roll. Okay. So I'm assuming that uh, 13 is not sufficient. No. So one of them will be stunned. Oh, that didn't uh, count it at all. So the first one is 10 higher is a 21. The second one I rolled a 3, which is an automatic fail. And then the last one I assume made it. Yeah, that would make it. So the one in the bottom, uh, the one with the green dot takes 23? Yeah, that's right. And you can remove the green dot. Okay. Okay, are you done? Um, so she did that as part of a flyby attack, so she's going to fly back into position here. Actually, how much movement does she have? You have flyby attack? She does from her manticore belt. Oh, sweet. So she would have flown up, done that. Um, she could technically make another dissolving spittle attack here. So she will. Um, I guess she'll make it against the stunned guy. Does he suffer any penalties for being stunned? Um, he loses his dex bonus to AC. Well, that's four points. That's a big chunk. But a 23 is a hit either way. Yeah. So then um, she's going to move in, I guess. Be the first one in there. So she had to move up, back, down. I can't see from here, but it'll be somewhere like right there or there. Are they all minus two to their save? They are minus two to their save. So that 11 would have failed then, right? It's plus 10, so it's 21. So minus two puts it at 19. DC is 18 right now. Ah, uh, darn. Yep, yep, yep. Unless we're changing the way cell modes calculate DCs, in which case it would be like three higher, but I don't think we are, so regardless, I would say anyway. So how are the DCs for soul melts calculated? We haven't gone Ten over this plus. since like fifth level, sure. I think. So for soul melts, they don't use the half level. That's the part that's missing. They use um ascension vested. So in this case, she can only have three Essentia invested in the soul mode, so it's going to be 10 plus 3 plus her con modifier. Yeah, so even if you were to use half level, you'd have to be higher than 6th level before it would matter. Right, but she is higher than 6th level. As so, an incarnate? Um, her incarnum mantle, it stacks for level-based purposes, so she does count as higher than that. How high does it go? Up to her character level. And it stacks with her psionic classes, so I think her she's 12th level, effectively. Or maybe, sorry, wait. No, she has the two levels of monks, so she'd be 11th level. Oh, but then she took a feat. Well, it doesn't matter, but we could... Discussing. We can figure out the math on that later. Like, I I don't want your abilities to fall to the wayside just because of stupid math. But if you've taken things that boosted up, we can uh, adjudicate that afterwards. I just wanted to know. I wasn't. I couldn't remember how the system worked. Okay, so then we're on to the Sentinels. So they will move up. Oh look. It's our friendly neighborhood rogue. We should kill him. Oh, we succeed no. in killing him. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much certain death for you. Sorry, I was going to protect you more, but I thought you are supposed to get inside. And a confirm uh, on the crit. Well, have fun, guys. That's okay. You're close enough for Abigail to save you. Yeah, she can resurrect you like she did with everyone else. Oh, can she? Yep. Oh, thank God, because I'm dead. There's no way I'm not going to die. Yeah, because you take 28 
from the crit, and then another 21 on top of that. So you're just paced on the ground. Minus your DR ones. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Excellent. He will step on your corpse. Um, but before he does that, he will cleave to Yaxon. Yaxon's up in the air. Oh, he's way up? Okay. Yeah. He flew above. He flew like 10 feet above. What's her face? And I'm 25 feet up because he doesn't like getting hit. That's fair. Um, then uh, we are on to Pa or Cassia. I don't really think it makes a lot of difference. I think Pa is closer to the door, so he'll go after him with his second attack. And apparently nothing rolled. But I rolled a one on the attack, so it doesn't really matter. Damn Is he it. standing on top of Flynn? Yep. Yep. Perfect okay. time to get rezzed. Yeah, it's nice to be resurrected in a uh, occupied square where you can't do anything. Can't I just, like, thrust upward with my swords? Sneak attack damage from the grave? Uh, you can definitely attack from your prone position, but there are penalties to that. Okay, so he moved up, then the next one will move up. He will attack. Oh, he can't attack Yaxon, but he can just walk right past him because he's up in the air. Yep. So he will also attack Paw. <laughs> Paw's a god! For some reason, my mod's still doing the funkity thing, but he gets a second attack. How does he get a second attack after moving? Because as a standard action, he can take half of his full attack, and he gets five attacks. Same way Java gets four attacks when she attacks you. Oh, 52's okay. definitely a hit. Wait, so I can take three attacks as a standard and still move? Uh, do you get four attacks as your base? Because oh, you're ex no. Yeah. Once you get four attacks, or you can take four attacks as, as your base. Because you take right. half, and then you double it for being two weapons. Right, right, right. But for you to get that, I think you need uh, base attack 15. Yeah, which is always away. His robes, one third, or three quarters. Okay, so Pa, you take 25 points of damage, and that is the end of what he can do. The other guy's stunned, so you can tick him down. And then this last guy will move up now that he's healed. All this because I forgot a re-roll on my luck blade. Yes. Although most of this uh, stuff now is not relevant to them. Oh, I guess they wouldn't have gotten the door open. It could have been a strength check and they opened it. But the guy you actually didn't kill is just joining the fight now. Okay, so the ones to the south will double five foot over. And then they get to full attack Odo. What's your uh, armor class, Odo? 35. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, not hard to hit. Weird to say, 35, not hard to hit. Not hard for these guys. Oh my god, it keeps not putting my mod in. Although the green circle gives that away. Okay, so that's four hits, one of which is a crit. So, who's ready to party in the afterlife, Flynn? Yeah, I'm I'm dead. Like, <laughs> I'm already dead. Okay, so the crit does 26 plus 23. And then 17, 19, and 21.
It's a good thing you and Akasha hey, back, backed into that uh, hallway so that you could uh, fight them off together. Okay, then the second one will attack you. Oh my god. All you needed to do was roll above a three. Yeah, I just need to not roll crap. And 24, is that enough to finish you off? Eight. Oh, that sucks. How many hit points did you have? 157. Well, I no, before that attack. Oh, you were at 32. Okay, I couldn't read it with through the bars or that stupid line there. Okay, well, then he will finish you off. I was hoping to be able to move down the hall, but he'll use the extra attack. A little bit soda all over the hall. And that ends his action. And that puts me at negative 10. Okay. Um, all the of them have gone. Then we're on to Flynn, who's unconscious, and Paw. Double five foot. You don't have to double once you get in the wall. Oh, I don't? Okay. Yeah, they can't attack around the corner and they don't have reach. Um, I guess I will... Um, I was going to cast bless, but or prayer, but I don't think I can now. What is the? It doesn't make any sense to, anyways. I, I'll cure minor Odo to stabilize him. Okay. Six back Odo. Okay, Odo's unconscious, so he can't do anything. And then we're on to Kessia. Great, double five foot. That, uh, what action does that take? That's free, right? You can do a five foot as a swift action, so you can use your move and swift to get you into the wall, and then from there you can use your standard action for whatever you want. Do I have movement left after this? You have a standard action, so you can do whatever you want with it. Great, I'm going to move into the room behind, in front of Paul then. Okay. I call Abigail. Okay, uh, she does not respond to you. And uh, she will fly down the hall towards Odo. Oh, wow, her armor class is actually quite crappy.
Okay, she will cast Heal on Odo. I think that does 140 points. And then it's initiative. Kasha, you are up first. Okay. So the plan when we got in here was to wait for the Lady of Pain to come and then defeat her, right? We don't want to mess with the mask. No. no. I think Abigail needs to take the mask and put it on. Okay. The, the, the point to being in here was to find her phylactery and destroy it. Okay. Then let's wait for Abigail to do that. I guess. Kasha attempted to take point on the door here that we made. So I'm going to drag my dead body in there? Yeah, oh, I'm going to go stand in front of a 21st level guy to go drag your body in here. No. <laughs> okay, well, Akasha could do that. So let's say she flies out to grab your body. It's underneath this sentinel, right? Yep, you pr provoke from both of them. You, you definitely don't want to do that. You could, like, reach around the corner, no? It's like a little, well, little crap. Lose your arm. Whatever she does, she's going to provoke from both of them. Because as much as she sticks out into the hall, is the amount that they can attack her. Yeah, but the thing is that it, I'm not really worried about a single provoke from each. I really just want to make sure he's alive. Oh, I'm dead. So oh, he's, he's dead. not alive. He is no, dead. I mean, I mean, he's alive in action. Like, we can pull him back and then raise him and then get it back in the action, so... Uh, you shouldn't be worrying about Flynn, you should be worrying about her. Okay, so... I can't do... Like, I can't pull Abigail back in here, but maybe I can provide some cover for her. Yeah, all you could do is guard the door. That's pretty much all you could do. Okay, these guys both have blue dots on them, right? Okay, well then, Akasha will move up to here, and she will make... I guess, two attacks against this guy. Around the corner. Okay, he's going to have cover from you. Yeah, but this will be against touch AC for both of these. Gosh, I keep rolling low. Man. Okay, does a 20 hit his touch? A 20 hits his touch, yes. I think it's 17. Okay. All right. Then Akasha will take the door here. Like so, and I guess that'll end our turn. Uh, Yaxon's just gonna fly into the room. Okay. Uh, Yaxin will provoke from both of them as he goes through the doorway. That's fine. So he takes uh, 45 points of damage. That's which I think half. is enough to take him out of the air. Because um, that's more than half. Yeah. Well, I guess when he's, because he would be flying over, he would just be coming at a downward angle through here, right? Yeah, the door's only 10 feet high, so it's within their reach. Yeah, I mean, if he can glide down, I'm just he completely, like, drawn up yeah, here. Yeah, no, he can just glide. I'm just saying he can't, once he hits the ground, he can't take to the air again. That's fine. Okay, then we're on to Odo.
I don't want to leave Abigail, but we need to get inside, and she'll only get there if I go. So, I can't Dimension Door, can I? No, you cannot use any kind of astral planar travel. And you probably wouldn't want a Dimension Door without her. Even if you could. All right, guys, we may be a little boned on this one. Well, if everybody gets inside, we can get the mask and I can do the whole shadow thingy to get us out of here. Can someone just put All right, up I will acrobat past this guy. All right, I'm in, kind of. Okay, then, uh, then we're on to Paw. Uh, 